I didn't apply for college. So what will we use these Just do it, dude. on? Oh, um, so you can use, uh, you can use the fish chips to redeem them for basically anything that is like, like there's Steam gift cards, right? Point gift cards. Um, those will be able to be automated since like I'll just have like a stockpile of codes, um, that'll get in advance. But yep. if you want something specific, like a, a skin in, in, in like league, then I'll have to like manually gift that to you. Couldn't that just be done with riot points anyway? Uh... That's a good point, yeah. <laughs> Why would you, you don't really need to give specific? I mean, not yeah. all skins can be done. Unless right. may, maybe, a, maybe that could just be changed. That could be changed into a, mis a mystery gift, which yeah, you cannot true, gift too, yourself. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten some good shit from mystery skips in the past. Once I got Pulsefire Ezreal. Ezreal. Yep. And I hate myself because Hextech Crafting gave me Elementalist Lux from a reroll. It would not let me, it, it auto claimed it. Oh, man. Alright, so I think it's time we actually officially started the meeting. So yeah, this is the first meeting. after the hour. Yep, so. I already started recording on stream, so we're good here. Um, mm -hmm. So, starting with the first topic, welcome to the first official Fizz Club community meetup. And we plan on having this every week. Um, unfortunately, it didn't get planned on like, yesterday, or just Friday. Usually, we plan on putting on Friday nights because that's when people are usually out of school. And... Uh, that's when you know you have time. So unfortunately, that didn't go as planned. But let me know what you guys uh, fit best your, to your schedule. Might want to take like yeah, might want to take like a poll and just see what works best for everyone. Mm, yeah, we can do it. Yeah, the weekend is fine. Definitely the weekend. The weekend. Mm. Okay. Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, we can do that. Keep it Anyways, for now, just make sure that it happens on the I think the weekend would be the best option anyway, because that's when most people are off of work and out of school. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I recommend that it happens late afternoons because I work overnight, so I sleep from like eight a.m. till four p.m. Very mm -hmm. much. Yeah, usually well, that's... four p.m. Uh, CST or PST e or EST. Okay, EST. Uh, yeah, that works out because technically I work in about an hour. So yeah, <laughs> on a Saturday. I don't have work tonight, so I'm hanging out. Anyways, so we could probably fix that scheduling and make it work out. It seems like it does work out. I mean, um, we could just throw up a straw poll to see what be the best time for most people. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. We will. Um, so as far as meeting times, I think that's that. Good. Um, secondly. Oh, wait, one second. I feel like the recording is actually echoing. Oh, yeah, it's echoing. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, quite a noticeable echo. There's like four of you. <laughs> okay. I think it's better now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, there we go. Anyways, oh, hey, welcome to that one line. That's better. Okay. So now that echo is fixed. Um, moving to the second topic, meeting the staff. Well, the team. So I'm support fizz, otherwise known as Og, OGG underscore, whatnot. Call me Kevin is my real name. Um, I'm just here to keep things together and follow the lead of Tundra fizz. Um, everyone just calls me Tundra. Like all my online friends just call me Tundra. So that's a, you can call me that if you want. Yeah. So he is the lead designer for our website and programming side. And he manages the club course as the club leader. Uh, we also have three other staff members. Uh, John Starr, who is actually the office, he's an office, all these are officers uh, of the club, so they're able to remove and invite people to the club accordingly if they have enough mastery points and meet the requirements. Um, John Starr is actually a grandmaster fizz player and streamer, so he's going to be managing our coaching and learning side of fizz mains. So if you have tips on how to play fizz better, shoot him a DM or just mention him. Or just watch the stream simply. He actually plays a variety of champions other than Fizz, like Rengar and a few others, like sometimes some whack picks and messes around in norms. He's pretty fun to be around. I played a few times with him. He's a pretty cool guy. Um, then we have Willie. Willie is going to be our news side. He's very good at posting like updates to Fizz, discussions, and he has this that kind of side to him. Um, once again, he's also an officer. There's me, of course, who is on a more manageable side for Discord. If you have any inquiries in terms of anything else, um, I can direct you in the right direction. I usually will reply unless I'm sleeping or dead. Um, <laughs> Good to know. Hopefully um, not. And then we have Supreme Fizz, who is also um, on board for similar to what I'm doing, basically also there for manage managerial 
stuff, but more of like he's there to help us keep the community together for our ideas and stuff. He was assisting me in the creation of our future discussions for fish chips and our ideas. Okay. So do you have any questions so far? Anybody? No, sir. Good. Good. Negatory. Right. So moving on to the second topic, which is the Discord and the cloud functions. So I'm pretty sure as most of you guys already know, we have our, um, our bot here. Chomper, which is able to keep track of your mastery points, set your roles accordingly and whatnot. If you don't know about him, we're going to go through it right now. So as you join our Discord, our Discord is actually a custom bot, custom coded by Tundra, it is himself, Tundra, and he coded it from ground up. And so he can explain how it works. Um, so there's like only three commands, I believe. There's just like help, um, update, and stats. So... It's pretty self-explanatory and simple to use. If um, you do something, if you do a command that's not ready for you to do, Chomperbot will let you know, like, hey, go to the Fizz Club and um, link your account with Discord, so that way it can, so that way it can, um, like, get your league accounts, and then from there, it will. So oh, I'm working on it like right now, but um, there'll be a little feature where it'll check your match history to similar to what op.gg does, um, but. When it checks your match match history, you'll also be able to check to see what kind of quests currently are up that you'll be able to uh, complete. So, and these quests are similar to like um, how Riot does their quest system in their client. It'll have different like um, specifications, like say, um, I don't know, get um, ten kills in a game or get three double kills, just random stuff like that. Quests that are harder and more difficult to complete, they'll give you more uh, more fish chips. Also, there'll be like um, a weekly a weekly uh, limit of daily wins or like um uh so like you could get like um if you get like 20 you could get up to 20 wins a week and every win would give you like three fish chips or maybe five or 10 or whatever don't don't really know what number I'll set it at um but you can also get like some extra chips that way yep so basically, we have a fish ship system, which we'll explain in a little bit here. But then we have basically rewards and our own quest line for you guys to get freebies off of. I mean, who doesn't like freebies, huh? Um, anyways, uh, so that's for the bot. And we also have the website, if you guys haven't seen yet. The website is still a work in progress. We're working on the shops, we're working on um, the match history, as you mentioned, with our own quest lines to see your statistics. Specifically, aside from OP.GG, for example, OP.GG won't show, hey, what's your average fizz... KD, okay, it does show your average fish KDA, but you know what I'm saying? Like, your average other stat, stats we, 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 use, we will use in specifics to our quest lines. For example, 58 minute game with Fizz, I mean, heck. <laughs> yeah. I want to um, die in those games. <laughs> bro, I just had a 55 minute Morgana game. Get me out. Anyways. Ooh, I mean, but can I share my? I don't. Oh, you can't share your screen. Otherwise, I could share my screen and show you all what it what I what it looks like for my side. We can just screenshot and put it in the event VC. Hello, Ellie. Oh yeah. Oh, oh my one. God, it's Tundra Fizz. Hello. Oh, Ellie. Oh, it's Blue Gilmon. Hello. Yeah. No, Ellie. I'm this person. I knew your voice sounded familiar. <laughs> Do, yo, are you gonna get uh, an account on a different? server since you got cucked by picking yeah, the wrong one. I'll have to get the one on the east coast later. Because uh, they're they're doing domain and settlement selection next month. I'm so hyped. Alright, well, it's only a few hundred dollars, so I'll be able to afford it, no problem. Um, anyway, just <laughs> screenshot and put it in the um, chat. I mean, yeah, chat thingy. So, uh, if you have your mouse over the little blue rectangles on the bottom, then it like a little pop up with more information. Uh, it looks, it's very, very like ugly right now. So, but I just want to get it to work. So hopefully I could um, uh, throw this up and some, uh, and you all could try it like over the weekend. Um, and then like later on next week, I'll make it look more pretty and not horribly disgusting. Why are my stats displayed? Oh no. <laughs> Does it only does it only count if you play Fizz? Only counts if you play Fizz because this is the Fizz Club. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Uh, is Earth still up? Um, I have yeah. no oh, league no Isles. Earth is extended for two more pouches apparently. Earth is extended for four weeks. Not in Fizz twice. Because if you get Fizz and Earth, it's pretty much your free win. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Unless there's a Maokai, that is. 
Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm God. I have to play against oh, Maokai as Vizener. There's yes. almost no I only got him twice, and the enemy team had Maokai once. It was disgusting. You think, you think you win, and then the, the game draws out to like 20 minutes, and then he just doesn't die. Yep. And then you yep. get perma C seed. Same. Mm -hmm. The true Anyways. free win in Earth is Jinzo. I... Hey, hey, uh, Tundra. Yep. Can I get the bot title? Um, nope. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want, oh, well, does it have admin privileges? So that Most likely. It does, yeah. it does have admin privileges. <laughs> well, can you make an, another role that is like a fake bot role so that I can have fish and then just bot? You don't have Maybe. any rules at all for some reason. Here, I'll give you um, I'll give you ping me. There we go. Hey, there we go. We'll ping him. Wait, Anyways, how does, that, how does this work? Oh yeah, we were going to make a ping me. Oh yeah, we have to discuss that. Anyways, uh, I should just discuss, discuss that right now. So, anyways, uh, I know half of you guys, or a good portion of you guys, hate getting that. Everyone are at here ping, and it's kind of annoying, including myself. Uh, but we have to push it out. Because people, some people want to get pings, you know? Like, some people do want to get notified. So we're going to create this role called Ping Me Roll. And on the website... Wait, is it on the website already? No, um, not okay. yet. I'll see that later. Yeah. So similarly to how you can toggle the Not, not Safe for Work uh, role, so you can actually have access to the Not Safe for Work channel, uh, there's going to be a button that allows you to join the Ping Me Roll. And the Ping Me Roll, basically, we're going to ping it when we make announcements and such but then people who don't want to be pinged obviously will not get mentioned because they do not have the role the link uh, website link is going to be in the hashtag info um right there that's where you can get your roles and everything and uh so uh that's how you're going to get your pings so for people who want to get their pings you go to the website and turn it on for people who don't want to get their pings you don't have to do anything you already don't have the role so you're good unless you want to get it later then sure or somehow you do have it and you don't want it anymore. Okay. Any questions? Sounds good. Nope. Uh, is, like you can allow anyone to mention this rule, but what if you only want like certain people to mention this rule? Yes, I know. Uh, there's a way you can do that in code, Tundra. In oh, okay. I'll have to yeah. I'll research it later then. You, you just right click uh, the role and then get the ID and then you oh, just enable it. Yeah. It's a. Okay. Uh, you can mention through its direct ID through bots and stuff. If you Google, just Google it up. You'll find but it. only through bots. No, you can do it by person. Wait. Okay. All no. right. I'll there's a, there's a way. There's a way to do it. There's a way to do it. Like think about it. There's a way to do it. <laughs> um, okay. I did it with I did I did it with V6. So. Oh, um, website for the wait the website link that is. I posted it in hashtag info. Oh, all right, I'll put it here anyways. Yeah. Oh, I hate how that has that giant, ugly thing. Yeah. Anyways, uh, the next topic. Fish chips! Alright. So, as mentioned, we're going to have quests, we're going to have whatnot, similar to what Riot has, like, for example, get three double kills this week. You achieve that quest based on your match history that our bot checks for and or when you check it. And uh, you will get rewarded fish chips. Fish chips thing about like a currency, it's obviously no monetary value. It's just going to be like tokens on League of Legends or Blue Essence. And you can spend those goodies on that for those fish chips on goodies. And those goodies can be a free Riot, free League of Legends icon, or $10 of RP, or $5 of Steam, or free chests and keys, um, even free real things like t shirts, champion mugs and whatnot so yeah it's pretty exciting and um in order to get those those are the systems we're going to be using we have quests we have rewards for example um one of our rewards is going to be the top fizz player award the top three summers to have the most amount of fizz points accumulated within these months will obtain fizz chips so for example let's say this split is going to be the start of this award and by the end of the split whoever has played fizz the most basically in terms of mastery points so mastery points being, you see at the end of the end screen, you get like plus 3,000, plus 2,000, plus 1,000, whatever, whatever, whatever. And let's say you gain a total of 25,000 points on Fizz this month. And then let's just say you actually are number one because you played most of Fizz this month. There you go. Free Fizz chips. So I was That's actually thinking of doing that weekly because um, the quests, I'm planning on having the quests like weekly. So you could like completely, maybe I have like three or three or four or five different quests you could do in one week. Um, and then every week, new quests will be randomly generated. And then so at the end of each week, you could also check to see whoever has the most Fizz mastery points for that one week. 
Yep, so we'll figure out systems and give off the details, but you get the general idea where we're going to have quests, weekly, monthly, daily, and stuff like that. And as well as unlimited, for example, if you just play one Fizz game, heck, you win, you get two Fizz ships. You lose, you get one still for playing Fizz. Good efforts. A, a for efforts. So you um, make me play a lot of League from now on? Yes, we're going to no. be addicted. Only if you want free stuff, I guess. <laughs> Only if you want free stuff. That's a death time, <laughs> Tenso. And, but all, you don't have to just play a lot of league. You have to play all the fizz too, because this is a fizz only thing. Yeah. Well, um, nope. let's see. Guess well, I'll I be tilting more. I mean, I have no obligation. Let's see. For, so the idea is, um, one fish chip equals one penny. So if you want a five dollar ride card, it'd be like five hundred. Fish chips. Yep. And we'll figure out the scalings for the quests and whatnot. Like, obviously, we're not gonna make. We're, we cannot have a quest like you can just abuse and abuse and abuse. Just to get the most maximum efficiency out oh, of yeah, that's yeah. not the point of the quest system and okay, if anybody okay. is found of course like logically come on like we're gonna nerf it or we're gonna fix it or adjust things accordingly so don't abuse things simply we're gonna we're, they're there for a purpose and we're not gonna make it super hard to earn um obviously for something logical for example a 25 dollars steam card which is 25 dollars worth is gonna cost 2500 fish ships and obviously that's gonna be quite some goal to get you know so we're making it logical and don't abuse it also depends because i can budget a certain amount of money and prizes each month for this yes. and so as long as th that budget doesn't get too much then um i'm perfectly fine with like it going around that much how many fish ships for one RP? Uh, well, you see, we can't gift one RP. We can only gift five dollars of RP. <laughs> That's a rip off. <laughs> oh, hex uh, yes, hexic chest is actually on the shop. One chest, one key is going to be two hundred and fifty fish ships. So yeah, because that's like the minimum we can we rounded yeah. um the values so... to the closest price. If it's going to be like a code, like because you can um, send people codes, those that can be automated. But if there's something more manual, like if I have to gift you um, a Hextech bundle thingy for 250, then that's something that I'll have to actually have to log on and do, do manually. So that'll be a little bit slower, but it's still something that we can do. Yeah. I'm fucking high, dude. So yeah, um, aside from that, I do have to state the rules, of course, of fish chips because we have to have rules. Fish ships rules. No transferring of fish ships between members. There will no not be a feature for you to change fish ships between members because that just leads to abuse. What if you have different multiple accounts that earn multiple incomes of fish ships on the same kind of quests and then you just transfer it all to one account? Obviously, that's abusive. So, no. Honest usage of fish ships must be in respect. So, obviously, as mentioned, rules must be followed. There is going to be no abusive of the quest line system for the fish ships. Necessary information will be needed upon purchasing the items that are required to do so. Take, for example, you order a t-shirt from us, and it has fizz on it, or what, whatever it is going to be. We technically are not the party that owns the shirt, and we're going to be purchasing it from a third-party site and having them ship it to you. And how are we going to ship it to you? We're going to need, obviously, your phone number in, in case it does get lost, and they're going to contact you, your address, to where obviously, where you want us to ship it to and other necessary information. We are not going to be sharing that information clearly with anybody else or any uh, other affiliation. Or... To be honest, I don't really lo even really yeah. like the idea of physical merchandise, so I don't even know if I want to support that because I really do not want to deal with p other people's addresses. It's really not yeah. something I want to do at all. Is something fishy right now? <laughs> fishy, but we'll get to it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I agree with it. Ooh, the... Hello, sorry I'm late. What's up, guys? Whoa. Whoa. What's up, Sophie? That Your mic's a little loud. You might want to lower it. Oh, I see my bad. Yeah. Wait, I, we can just lower him ourselves. Yeah, but for everybody else who yeah, is on uh, mobile. For the What's up, Ghost? monthly split, whatever it is, whoever plays the most fits, you guys are going down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so then, like, um, we'll have, like, little leaderboards. They, they'll just be for fun, but we'll be, like, whoever has earned the most um, fizz mastery points, like, in the last um, whatever. Uh... The last, the most recent person has gotten a pentakill. Could have yep. that be displayed somewhere. Just like fun little cool stuff like that. Yep. So you're telling me we can't get fizz chips for being meta slaves? <laughs> uh, I'm fizz in the meta, or you can, you don't have to be meta slave. You can just be off meta slave, you know? Huh? Where's the PTA <laughs> fizz aid with Triforce, huh? We make our own meta. I miss Bruiser on hit fizz. 
Honestly, I've never like. I miss Grievous been... Wounds Fizz. Yeah, I remember on his W. Nice. I miss when W did real damage outside of one hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Anyways, we could actually duel people. I miss when two. W did dot damage and I could go drive force Fizz. Same. Feels bad, man. Feels sad. It's okay. Bring back Fizz. Right. I think Fizz is getting buffs. I think if I heard. Like Fizz is getting some. He's, he's coming. He's coming back into the meta slowly. I don't know, something yeah, like that. Hey, I don't know, know Bob. Right Bob. They're releasing a skin and releasing a prestige version of that skin. Definitely form. getting get buffs, buff. so he gets forced into the. Yeah, because I, I don't think he's in a good spot right now. So if people want to play him, he has to be good. Yep. I mean, it's only going to be one hundred and twenty dollars. Win rate is pretty good, so I don't know. If people yeah. buy him, I don't really see him in the higher elos though. That like in gold, I'd say he works really good. Yeah, you're fine though because we have John Star, who is, who is the Grandmaster Fizz player, so you can mm -hmm. check out how he plays and stuff like that sometimes. Well, but, true. Yeah. Uh, aside from that, uh, we got to move on to the rules again. Uh, okay. So obviously, for the necessary information, that's gonna be something fishy that we will discuss at a later time. Um, but these rules are also flexible. Like we're gonna be adding, changing, removing rules, and these are just like a rough sketch. Okay. So everything I'm saying right now is just rough sketch. Just giving you guys an idea of what's going on. Um, adjustments to the shop may or may not be made without notice, very clearly given. We'll just add things, remove things if things don't work, or if it's not popular enough, or whatnot. And lastly, we are not affiliated with Riot Games. Because we are not going to get any issues with Riot Games. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, any questions? I don't think so. Did you All ever right. get that glitch with the bot fix where it couldn't recognize special characters? Um, that that has happened like multiple times. Like one person would get it, so I'd fix it, and then it'd work. And then someone, somebody else with like a whole different type of special characters would get it, so then I would fix it again. Um, so yeah, it's been fixed a couple of times, but it might still be have some weird edge cases. Yeah, I'm just asking because I know we had an ordeal getting my account added. It's okay. The bot, yeah. the bot would just crap. The bot would just time out every time to try to recognize me. Well, did you add it accordingly to the ASCII table, or he had to add it manually because it wouldn't because the bot I couldn't know. recognize I it. I know. Wait, Tundra, did you add it by the ASCII table? Um, I forget. That was that was like months ago, so I can't remember how what I did. Oh, okay. I might have um changed the character set a couple times. No problem. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Um, that's done with fish chips. Moving on to the next topic, which is the first giveaway. Fuzz Fizz giveaways. So, we're gonna have 10 skins of Fuzz Fizz to give out when it does get released. And when we do decide the giveaway date. How to enter this giveaway, Tundra? How would you like to decide on it? Um, wait, 10, 10 Fuzz Fizz skins? Wait, isn't that what we decide on? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I'm so confused. Let's see, because I was planning on, uh, I could budget like 10,000 or maybe 20,000 fizz chips monthly, or fish chips monthly for rewards. Um, let's see, how much is, how much will fuzz fizz cost? Around approximately $10 probably, each. Probably 3050 yeah. There's no way it's yeah. legendary, for sure. Yeah. Why not give us 10 prestige fuzz fizz? Oh, oh boy. yeah. I mean, I'll you can afford, that. I mean, you that's can afford different. 12, you can afford 1200 <laughs> right? <laughs> no, fifteen. Um, prestige is like one one hundred and thirty dollars each. Disgusting. Yeah, it's not even a good skin. It's like he's a dog. I know, yeah. right? That is correct. Can I exchange? Mine feels way better. If I get it, can I exchange the skin for another one? Um, sure. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I probably want Super Just Galaxy instead. Just want any Fizz skin that's Have not all the Fizz prestige. skins. Anyways, so yes, ten dollars US converts to specifically thirteen eighty RP. If you're in Canadian or any other place, we will convert accordingly. Um, Tundra, you do have to decide how many do you want to give out though. Um, because ten of the fuzzkins is basically a hundred. So ten yeah, that's fine. Is yeah, that, actually, that's no problem. We can do ten. Ten is good. Okay, so we're deciding on ten fuzz fuzzkins, and how do you want people to enter the giveaway? Um. Nah, I haven't thought of that. <laughs> I mean, my idea was we actually have the shop, right? And you just click on, hey, one zero fish chips required to enter giveaway. Yeah, unfortunately, it's not completely done yet. Yeah, but is that how you want to approach it? Yeah, yeah, that's um, 
that, that's that's how the that's how it should go. That'd be like the best way that okay. would be consistent with everything else that we plan on doing. Okay. So here's how we're gonna do it. We're gonna have, as mentioned, we're gonna have a fish shop, right? And when we do get that fish shop page up and running, we'll have one item in there. That one item is going to be the fizz chips. Sorry, the uh, fuzz fizz giveaway enter with a voucher, and it's gonna cost you zero fizz chips. Or maybe you can make it ninety nine, but whatever. Anyways, you're gonna join. You have to get it. You're gonna get that voucher, and you're in the giveaway. Simple. And when you win, when we announce winners, we do the giveaway Discord kind of thing. You want you want a skin? Simple. Simple enough. Anyways, so that's that. Any questions about the giveaway? Negative. <clears throat> All right. And next topic is going to be Q and A. Well, actually, it is Q and A time. So, huh? Any questions about anything regarding Discord, Fizzmains Club, future plans, or anything that's going on? Uh, what's the actual command for the chomper bot? Uh, uh slash help. Wait, is he? Oh, he's all the way at the bottom. Okay, yeah, he's like all the way at the. He's like the very final one, so no one can really see him. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> hey, should we move him up? <laughs> Deed, yeah, I should move him up. And also that that way, like if he does go down, then I'll be able to see. Um, well, I should also have like a thing that alerts me anyways if something bad does happen. Ah uh, yes. Okay, I put him right under officer. Okay, cool. There we go. So this questions? is not really a question, but have you guys noticed the new fizzalt? It can lock onto the new Morgana with their new shield. Well, really? Yeah, it can. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's a bug. It actually or not. goes through spell shield now. They used to like, happen with Malfa. It used, used to happen, to happen with Malfa Heart, but they nerfed it to a um, Yeah, fizzle. but now it happens with Morag, so it's like, like bless. It was like a you weird. Malfa Heart, then Q him, and you can still have your ult on him and remove his spell shield with your Q. Then they changed it <laughs> so that no, his no, spell no, shield just drops sorry. the ult. I hate it. I hate laning against him now. It used to My... be a fair matchup. You know what's even worse when he buys a Banshee's Veil? Now he's got Oh two my spells. god, yeah. <laughs> that is honestly the worst. Oh, you popped my first shield, now you have another one. I think the better part is when you press R on him and he ults you, but then your R knocks him up and cancels his ult. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just fucking eat him. Imagine yeah. if they actually bought Edge of Knights to have three spell shields. That's troll, that's troll. That's just oh, a horrible well. person. <laughs> that's just Anyways. Like... So yeah. For me, countering spell shields, I just alt and then Q through them before my ult hits them. Mm, I just proto proto that thing out. Yeah, I just proto that right away. I, I, I mean, no, the I'm problem is I don't build proto. proto. Or, mm. or just don't ult them, you know, someone else. I don't build proto either. I always build the exact I don't like proto. No I actually what build blue. I, I hate I proto as an item. <laughs> proto is great, dude. It's the best item. It's like, I, I it like works for some Hexic people, it doesn't work blade much better. better. I've always started Gunblade. Oh, oh really? I always do. I yeah, always it just feels good. Match. It gives See, you a whole lot of sustain, which is that you usually don't, don't have. any of you guys, but in the time I've played Fizz, uh, I've only maxed my E twice. Three times. Wait, really? I, uh, yeah. e time. I don't know about that. I'm rushing. I do. It's it's it might not be as good as E, but I just never failed. Hey, chat has a chat has a good question. So why don't we do a discussion or something? Even we don't even have to do like a composition. Uh, it can be as simple as, hey, let's do a straw poll. <laughs> straw <laughs> poll for what? Which side wins, Proto or no Proto? <laughs> I think Proto. Proto's gonna lose. I think Proto's gonna win. It's just. I think no, Proto. 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 Right, now, now I actually want to see what happens. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a, that's a sweet idea. Proto is the most built. It's hey, Tundra. Do yeah. you agree with it? Um, wait, each side gets five fish chips. Just five. Yeah, it sounds good. We could do something like that. I'll do it right now. Shuffle. Just, like, an... just make a shuffle. Wait, did you say the winners? Get five fish ship. Wait, but then people can just like literally say, "Yeah, we can literally just all go into one side." No, <laughs> oh, no, this is before like a game, like in in the game. Um, uh, actually, I don't know how this is really. No, works. we can just make a Google form, and they can submit their name with it. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't cheat. Well, uh, this will have to be something for later because it have to be like um, 
an, an additional thing I'd have to have to. Oh, uh, you want to you, you want to make it automated instead of manual? Yeah. I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, we can do that. We don't have to do it now, but that's a good suggestion there. We can make it automated. So like with every win, it's like if if you have a proto belt and you win, then team proto belt gets a point. If you win and you do not have a proto belt, then team pr no proto belt gets a point. Something oh. like that. What, actually, about, wait a what about Team Ludens? <laughs> Definitely not. I agree. Hold on. But that one mm -hmm. line is actually suggesting a different suggestion. He's suggesting that, for example, let's just say, not to like divide the Fizz Club itself, but two teams in which um, you guys compete for the completion of quests, which obviously um, uh, complete and gain uh, Fizz ships with it, and whichever side has gained the most uh, fish ships wins the competition they gain bonus for example um in league of legends terms it's literally demacia versus noxus so and people if you were, if you were there for the versus event people who chose demacia i think got rewards it was and, great. yeah yeah i'm saying though um something along <laughs> those lines and that's what he's suggesting um it doesn't have to be specifically protobelts or no protobelts it's just that's just a name um so yeah <laughs> that's something we can discuss later. That's a good idea. We will take it into consideration. Gunplay. I like never seen that. That's a mistake. Gunplay is for that one shot build. It's because your Q scales off AD, so it's not 100% useless. And you do weave auto attacks in between your attacks. So problem is, it costs too much money. Bam. But it does cost a lot. Yeah. It costs too much money. It's not worth it. I, I rush it first item. I love the item. Team static shoe. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you even yeah, I'm with you on water. static shift, bro. Team Infinity. Static, static right? shift, dead man's plate. Like, dead blade's active is amazing. You can use it while inside of the E. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. I mean, you can zone as an E, heck. I wish we could do, like, skin wars, but I looked into, like, um, getting the skin, whatever skin they're using for champion, and Riot does not make that data available, which is super dumb. Wait, they, they actually don't? No, they don't. They say it's for like security reasons. They don't want people to see what skins people own. It's so it's so stupid. Wait, oh, the own. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But then, like, you can see what skin they use for specific games, correct? No, I can't. And that's the Wait. dumb part. I don't Wait, think so. wow. The only the only thing you can do is you can like spectate them and like see what they're using in the game. Yeah, that, that, like it. it's just it's just they will just fizz. Yeah, no, there's there's no data at all. I checked through all the different data that Riot will give me, um, through all of their whole different little endpoint thingies, and there's nothing with any skins. So I went, I went, I joined um the Riot's programming um their API Discord server, and I asked them, and they're like, um, yeah, we don't uh make that skin data available because of security reasons. Mm. So it's, it's so dumb. Yeah, I. I, I it's hard for me to imagine a way why it's super secure. Like it's not like you're getting their account, in their all their account information, really. So yeah, like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you're more targeted to get hacked. So let's be honest here. If you have like a prestige skin or a king, yeah, you have a lot of skin. Most like <sighs> that's possible. Yeah. I mean, if people could see what skins you have, like they target accounts with like more skins. Perhaps. W the only way that I would check to see what skins um you all would be using would be if i created like a little uh, another bot that would just check Spectate. all of you guys yeah it would just like check you guys once every five minutes to see if you're in a game and if it's and if it sees any if any of you guys are in a game it'll just spectate you for like one second to see what skin you're using that's pretty cool damn and that would be like wouldn't that be a yeah it would be a lot of work in the virtual machine probably um, oh no no! This would be I could I think I could use like a headless client. Oh, this would be a lot of work though. Um, yeah, that's unnecessary. <laughs> yeah, yeah, every player would have that. Like not worth it. No. Not worth it at all. Don't put yourself through that, bro. Just to stop yeah. people's skins. It sounds <laughs> manually. Like, that's still a lot of it work. It sounds for fun though. So if I have extra time, I'll do it just to see if I can do it. That's like what a lot. That's a lot. A lot of things I do is I just do it to see if I can do it, and sometimes yeah. most of it works out. I'm so only do programming when my class did me in it. Places, I'm, just con I'm obligated to only play Fisherman because my name's the Fisherman. Yo, I love that skin. Mm -hmm. uh, I love Cottontail. 
Uh, that's what I like to hear. Yeah. Cottontail and Fishman are the best. Oh, man. to respond in response to uh, no. that one line, he says like a uh, check manually. Um, technically, I could I could manually check, but um, uh, I don't I don't want to do anything manually. Everything has to be hundred percent uh, automated. Yeah, it's kind of like defeats the purpose, you know. It's kind of like really weird to check check screenshots. Like, just be the purpose is to check screen. Yeah, it's kind of like awkward, you know. Especially like once we get like um, if we assuming we eventually max out the club at 100, 100 fizz members, and it might even have more than that because I know we have people that aren't in the fizz club or in the Discord server as well. You never know out there, man. I swear. That, that one might, you never know. I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, yeah. But that also means a lot of work for the people playing. I don't think yeah. most, people, most people probably won't do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, our, that's another thing. Like, people would have to manually, ever have to rematch, go in, and they'd have to do a lot of work too. Yeah. So and it's either really an all or nothing deal for me. It's okay. Other than that, any other questions we have? Nothing. Uh, no one else? So what are your thoughts about uh, the direction we're heading with fish, chips, and uh, wards, and all that going on? Um, I'm Seems surprised cool. because I know of a few friends in other, like, big champion main clubs and discords, and nobody's ever, their discords are all, like, okay. dead. Yeah, we're going to be the like, cool ones after this. <laughs> join the discord, they get invited. And then people just kind of talk about random shit and put memes in there. Yeah, take the Reddit Fizz Discord, for example. That's basically what every champion mains is basically going to be. Occasionally, there's events, right? Occasionally. And yeah, it's mostly and just then, random discussions, and it's multi-regional, so it's kind of yeah, awkward. I did not expect to see here, like, you guys are fucking programming websites and there's currencies going on. Yeah, I want to I wanna do something big that no one else has done before. That's my whole purpose of doing this. Yeah, despite... Our Fizz Mains Club being very small in comparison to other Mains Club, like Rakan Mains and Zion Mains, we can change the minds, you know? Hell yeah. We're gonna make everyone a Fizz Main. <laughs> Simple. Just like just like Yasso Mains, right? Come on. No! I, I'm perma banned for that place for calling them theaters. Oh, um, <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, per, I'm, a perma, I'm perma banned from the, right, the actual I, League of Legends Discord, so hey, high five. I went in there for saying you're all nothing but a bunch of filthy theaters and I got <laughs> perma banned. I expect <laughs> nothing less from a fizz mate. Good job. <laughs> well, you're doing, well, you're doing well, God's that, work. Isn't Fizz one of those champions that's especially good at making Yasuo will feed, though? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I've been having trouble uh, facing yeah. him recently, but... I feel I like you know, you know, I, I only fight him after I get uh, Ninja Tabbies. You don't want to be one of them at all. Yeah. Yeah. Find, well, you can't with the new Phantom Dancer. That shield is just too much. Oh, yeah, that's that and you, you, you can't burst him anymore. Yeah, where are the fizz buffs at, bro? That's why you get part of it. Where's our AP? Hey, when is AP going to get a free shield? I just want I just oh, yeah. want the little marker above them so I can W them for 96 Same. health. Oh my god, oh, yeah. That's all I want. Just my queue little... them, walk away a little, E back W done. I want all these free AP shields to go away. Hex Drinker, Nullifying Orb, Phantom Dancer. Please, it's enough. <laughs> Yeah, and then they, barrier. They hate Fizz and Evelyn. Pop in a Sturrock gauge. They have five shields. Evelyn's pretty good right now, actually. She is. All right. So it seems like we're ready to wrap this meeting up. What do you think, Fizz Sandra? Yep. Yeah. Um, I don't really plan on playing any like league or doing anything because I just have to. I really want to work on the sub site and get things done. So I'm just probably gonna spend the rest of my day. <laughs> doing working on the site and stuff. I have to get ready for work soon. But yeah. So anyways. Uh, that wraps up the random meeting. Thank you all for coming. We plan on setting up meetings every week, like mentioned. Um, uh, we are good to go. Everybody, whoever wants to go, you can go. But we are going to be, um, whoever wants to stay, you guys can feel free to add each other, play some normal games, screw around, play some pair. Yeah, just, and we have three lobbies down there, if, or any other lounge, whatever. You guys want to do ranks? Yes, I'll play some Earth before I go back to. There's working. a random guy in one of the voice channels. Oh, that's a <laughs> uh, Blue Gilmon. He's a. Uh, I've known him for quite a while. He just like we talked to each other once in a while. He's pretty cool. That makes sense. 
So yeah, if you guys are looking to play some games, go for it. See you guys around. Thank you for coming. Bye. Bye. All right, guys. Peace out. Uh, I'll just hop Peace. into. Who who else wanted to play Earth? I'm playing Earth. Yeah, I'll play. Uh, I'll just go into the game one channel with you if you want. Which one? Mm. Game one. Yeah, the game game one voice channel. Yep. Mm. I'll play one game. All right. See you guys later. Thank you for coming.